hey guys this is your girl destiny and i'm back with another video now today's video that i'll be doing is a story time when me and my friend almost got raped rob kill etc i don't know but before i get into this video please remember to like comment share and subscribe if you if you not yet it the bell what are you waiting for okay now just remember to comment down below what you think or more options on videos that I could do and hit the subscribe button anyways let's get straight into this video so once upon a time it was about in 2016 or 17 2016 or 17 i don't quite remember but it was a holiday time and they were having an all-white party so this all white all white party normally keeps every hair it's a hairly thing so um me and my friend had planned that we were going to the party so um i was in a white dress full white dress mind you the dress is very short like I have to be fragile when I'm bending or whatever the case may be because the dress was very short and it was cut all the way down to here so it was like all of this part was just my bra and skin yeah so I was wearing a blue bra same color has this and the blue matching shoes flat shoes as the blue bra and the white dress my dress was mad short it was about a little bit under my ass yes it was a little bit under my ass and my friend was in a white shorts a white jacket and a gold bra and she was wearing a gold and white slippers anyways long story story short let's get into the story anyways we went to the party and mind you I'm a lightweight I don't drink a lot it's not something that I practice to do I drink occasionally and my friend she drinks more than me I think she can manage early liquor more than I can so basically I was really the lightweight yeah so we went to the party and we was at the party part the party was like way lit the party was mad lit it was fun like we were having mad fun we were just taking pictures and it was mind you um the liquor they had was free because it was like an all-inclusive party from in the day to straight back to the next morning so you you know people were just wasted because everybody had free alcohol beverages and you could just drink all night and just party all night and you know when jamaicans are partying they are partying yes so it was back home so we were just partying and having a good time and stuff mind you like my home from the venue was um my home was further from the venue or almost closer to the venue so we had decided that when the party was over she was either gonna come to my house and stay for the rest of the night or I was gonna go to her house and stay for the rest of the night which we didn't come to a like a conclusion as to which house we were gonna go to anyways long story short we party until it was 2 a.m. that the party had stopped the party ended at 2 a.m. and we had to take taxi to go back home so like when the party ended we were on the outside everybody was looking for taxi basically keep if there if you're if you don't have a car and you're not driving then everybody was looking for taxi and whoever was driving just went into their vehicle so like we were there looking taxi we, i could not get any taxi to go to my house because i was living further away from the venue she was living closer she could not get any taxi to go to her house as well but when you go to my house when you take a taxi to go to my house like the taxi would leave you in another town 
and I would have to take another taxi from that town to go to my house. And then her house, now you just take like one taxi. So like, yeah, like, so she was like, I'm not finna go to your house tonight because that's too far and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, girl, you better let's go to our house because something was just telling me, well, let's go to my house. Let's go to my house. And she was like, that's too far, yeah, man. And it time too late and we don't... We don't feel nice already and high and me no one go so far in this and this. So I'm like, okay, it's up to you. So anyways, um, we had come to a conclusion then. I said, we're going to her house. So we went to her house. But to go to her house, like the taxi would leave you on the main road. And then you had to walk through a scheme to go to her house and there's like a bridge the taxi would leave you at the bridge on the main road and then you'd walk like through the scheme to go to her house then through another i don't know if that's a scheme or just another like another road you had to go like through the scheme then up a hill then down another hill and then it's a very long walk to her house which taxi goes there to her house but not at that time of the night so we would basically um have to just take the taxi and it's it would leave us at the house and then we would walk to um her house shit sorry then we would walk to her house with this camera this thing um let me set up back this camera because it wasn't it didn't set properly all right anyways we would have to um walk do a long walk to her house so we decided that we were gonna take the risk and we were we were gonna walk when the taxi leave us at the bridge and we were walking towards her. Some places didn't have light. The lights were out and some places had lights. So we were like there. We weren't paying that any mind. I was, we were like, maybe some of them light just gone some places or whatever. So we were there walking and talking about the party, laughing. Remind, remind you, you know, we all the way lit. We were turned up. So we were just walking and talking about the party basically. And just laughing. I Mind you, I was too lit to walk fast. So I was way behind and she was in front of me because she was walking more conscious and more faster than I was. Anyways, we were there walking and talking. Then out of the blues, she just said, Yannick, run. She like, she literally called my name and said, run. I don't know why she said I was supposed to run. I didn't ask why she said I was supposed to run because I'm not going to, I don't have time to ask why should I run? At that time of the night, she said, Yannick runs. So I was, I did what she said. Mind you, she was way ahead of me, and somebody said to your out of the blues, Yann, call it, call it by your name, and said, Run. And she, she done, um, already took off, leaving me behind. I'm like, Hell no. When she said, Girl, mind you, when she said, Yann, when she said, Run, I don't know what for, but when I tell you, I run. I run, I, I even pass her. I even run past her. I run, leave her. I run leaving her behind. And she was like out of breath. Being like, she was like. <sighs> I'm like, girl, you better run because I'm not leaving you behind. But I'm, not, I'm telling her that I'm not leaving her behind. And I'm not going to run, leave her. But I'm not stopping. While I'm saying that, I'm still running. Mind you, I'm still running. I, mind you, I have a child to live for. I have a daughter. She don't have no kids or whatever. But I'm still telling her to run because she's my friend. And I'm not going to stop with her because she's not running. So I was like, girl, you better run because I'm not stopping. Trust me, I am not stopping. And I was the one that had her house key. So when I tell you I run, I have never seen anybody run as fast as I did that night in my life. I Listen. I you see in both my ton. My ton you see in both the night day. I run. 
and I I ran and when I ran to the house I opened the door and I went inside it was like about 10 minutes after or 15 minutes after that after that she came to the house she was breathless Mandy I was tired my heart was beating I was out of breath I was thirsty my throat was dry out I, I, I didn't think I was gonna die I was like all the way out of breath I was I could not talk I was like I could not breathe I was out of breath and she was when she came inside she was like <sighs> she was dying she could not breathe she could not talk she could not do anything I was dying as well we were both dying I'm like oh my god what just happened what just happened she could not talk I could not talk so we wait I waited until she was like calm down or whatever the case may be she came inside, I closed the door, we closed the door. I don't remember if we had drank water or anything, but we were so nervous and stuff. I don't remember if we drank water, but the way, oh, the, the rate at which my heart was beating, I swear I was going to die. But I'm like, I'm not finna get raped tonight. I'm not finna get robbed tonight. I'm not finna get killed tonight because I have a daughter to live for. And while I was running, that was all that was in my head, just my daughter. It was all about my daughter. I was just thinking about my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. Remember, you have to live for your daughter. You got to run for your daughter. You got to do this for your daughter because you're not going to die tonight. I don't know what it was or what she saw and why she told me to run, but I knew that I ran. I was Usain Bolt that night. Anyways, after she had calmed down, she was like, girl, I don't know if you've seen her, but... When we were walking up the road like when she said when we were walking up the road and she was in front remember she was ahead of me so like she would more be the one to see everything she said when she was walking up the road like she saw a guy in the bush but she was still walking and she wasn't paying attention to it because she didn't know if it was really someone that was there in the bush hiding or it was just the the bush moving because remember it's night and then I don't know she think it was the bush but she said after we passed the bushes and then she looked behind her she saw the man came out of the bush running towards her like he running towards us like he was gonna grab me so she said to me Yannick run because she was ahead of me so she said to me I was I'm to run and she ran out that's when she ran off and said I should run because she saw the man like the man was going to grab me. So she ran off and said I should run. She said she didn't know if it, was, if it was him alone or there were other guys in the bush. Or if he had a knife or a gun or whatever the case may be. But girl, YouTube, my subscribers, let me tell you. I ran that night like I've never run in my life before. If I hear them say when Pitney when trouble catch up, pitney shot fit ya, yeah. Me run like me ear news. Me turn lightning, flash. Yeah. And when she said that, I was like, oh my God, frig. And that was it. Never. After that, I, I, don't, I don't think I went back out for like maybe five months, six months. I took a while before I actually went out because that was a night. That was... A night I'm like oh my god I don't want to experience that again I don't ever want to experience that again and I would not wish that not even for my enemy because I don't know what would happen that night if we would get raped or killed or what whatever the case may be but trust me God was on our side that night remember I was way too late to even walk fast but when she said run I don't remember that I was even late I run, I run, I run like I heard news. Nobody could, like, when I'm going down her house, down by her house on a regular day, there's a chalk, like a pathway, pathway to her house that I normally stumble on stones there in that pathway. There are a lot of stones there and I normally stumble on them. But trust me, that night, I didn't, I didn't even remember that stones were there. It's like me fly over the stone, them. fly over them, everything. So yes, that was my story time about when I almost got raped.
killed or robbed or whatever the case may be i don't know because it did not happen so i'm here today and i just want to give god thanks for that and i could not sleep that night because i don't know if the person was still chasing us i don't know if the person was still chasing us i don't know if he knew where we ran to or the house or whatever and then her mom wasn't there and nobody else was there it was just me and her so we were like traumatized the whole night we didn't sleep we stayed up the whole night talking about the situation watching looking through the windows we were just we were just scared like we were scared for our lives so yes guys that's the end of the video and please remember to like share comment and subscribe and get this video to a thousand likes Please share with your friends, share with your family, share with your friend, friend. Just share this video with everybody and get this video to a thousand likes and get your girl to 100 subscribers. Please and thank you and thanks for watching this video and have yourself a blessed Sunday. Thank you. Bye.